In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a free Thunder Gun and Tundra Gun on the Black Ops 4 Zombies map Togdur Toten. Starting off with the Tundra Gun, what you need to do is throw snowballs at 5 targets around the map in the correct order. Now these must also be done in under a certain amount of time, so I would first recommend fixing the ship's flinger to help you get across the map quickly. This is done by taking the flinger's gearbox up to the hermit, then placing it back down once he returns it. So anyway, the first target can be found directly above this doorway in the loading platform area. When you hit the target correctly, you'll hear it ring. Now if you miss any of these targets, you'll have to restart with the very first one on the next round. So once you hit that target, jump on the zipline to the docks behind you. Then make your way to the lagoon where you can find the second target at the base of the ice slide. From there, drop down into Lighthouse Cove and make your way through the cargo hold. Head up to the main deck, then to the top level of the sun deck. The third target will be located just outside of the second power switch room. Now go ahead and drop down onto that flinger and launch over to the lighthouse. The fourth one can be found in the center of the spiral staircase on the third level. After that, head up to the top level and zipline to the cargo hold. When you drop down into the water, turn to your left and the final target can be found on this support beam. If you've rung all five targets fast enough, this crate will open up to reveal the Tundra Gun. Now this weapon does have splash damage, so you might want to use PhD with it. Next is the Thunder Gun. To get this, you'll have to complete every challenge from all five dummies. You activate them by interacting with the Hermit up at the lighthouse. I'm now going to briefly go over each one so you'll know what to do. The first one we're going to start with is the Specimen Storage Dummy. This is located up in the facility area and I would recommend trying to do this one as soon as possible because in my opinion it's the trickiest. The first challenge will be to fling 15 zombies. So just step on one of the flingers and try to get as many zombies on there as you can before it launches you. This will probably take a couple of tries so just keep on flinging. The second challenge will be to get 10 kills while riding a zipline. Now before collecting the insta-kill from the last challenge, train up a decent amount of zombies on the loading platform. Then collect the insta-kill and hop onto the zipline that takes you to the docks. You should be able to easily spin around and spray into the horde behind you to get the kills. If not, just keep riding the zipline and killing zombies. The final challenge will be to complete a whack-a-mole station using snowballs. This can be found just outside of the map on the loading platform. To start it, go ahead and throw a snowball at that center target. From there, numerous sock puppets are going to rise from these five pipes. All you have to do is throw snowballs at them. When you run out, you can collect more from the piles to your right or left. You have to do this until the number on the challenge panel says 3 out of 3. This can be kind of hard to do with a bunch of zombies around, so I would recommend saving a fire one at the end of the round and doing it then. If you lead the fire zombie away from the loading platform first, First, you should have a decent amount of time to get through this before it catches back up to you. If you fail to hit the puppets after a certain amount of time, just throw another snowball at that center target to bring them back. After that's done, you'll be able to claim this power up which will make all traps half priced. Next is the beach dummy. The first challenge will be to get 13 kills with snowballs. If you aim for their heads, you can get this fairly quickly. The second challenge is to get 15 kills with the lighthouse trap. To actually unlock this, you'll have to first give the blue rock to the hermit. Then you can use the trap either behind the lighthouse or at the beach. After that, the final challenge will be to complete three SOS messages around the map. You do this by throwing snowballs in the writing's missing spots. Once you see the number change on the challenge panel, you can move on to the next one. The first SOS is on the ship directly behind the beach dummy. From there, the second one is on the lighthouse, and the final message can be accessed from the sunken path area. You can get there by shooting this pipe in the artifact storage area to put out the fire below. The SOS can then be found on the ship to your left. With all that done, you can claim this ice pick which will allow you to break ice faster when you're frozen. Next is the dummy at the lighthouse station. The first challenge challenge will be to collect 25 brains. You get these by killing zombies with headshots. After you complete that challenge, accept this carpenter to start the next one, which is to get 20 kills with the shield bash. The final challenge for this dummy is to empty 3 P jars into the beach, which is the original Call of the Dead spawn. The P jars can be found at the top of the lighthouse, and you have to do this without breaking them. Now I would recommend saving a zombie or two at the end of the round, since you will not be able to run or jump. If you do, you'll break the jars. So squeeze past any zombies, and then hold your interaction button once in the water to empty the jars. After you do that a total of three times, you'll be given an extra self-revive and that dummy will be complete. The next dummy can be found on the forecastle, which is located at the very front of the ship. The first challenge is pretty easy, which is to get 25 kills while standing still. The next challenge will be to kill 10 zombies with melee attacks. You can easily do this on higher rounds by bashing zombies with the shield. Now you can start your final challenge, which is to collect three ingredients to make some soup. The first one we're going to start with can be found in the gangway area, which is right below the second power switch. Its first location is on this right side bench. The the second one can be found on the corner of this table, and the final one can be found across from that on the right side of this counter. The second ingredient can be found down at the beach. Its first location is on this left barrel in the very back, the second location is near these rocks just before entering the water, and the third one can be found to the left of the Thompson Wallby. The final ingredient is located in the boathouse, which is just past spawn. Its first location can be found on this right crate next to the Mog Wallby, the second location is across from that on these barrels, and the final location can be found in the next room on this stove. Once you've got all 
three ingredients, bring them back to the pot on the forecastle. Interact with the pot to place them inside, then throw a snowball in as well. This will complete the challenge and you can collect your reward from the robot. And finally, the last dummy is located in the frozen crevasse area. The first challenge will be to get 20 kills while standing in water. There's a lot of water already in that area, but just be careful not to freeze. The second challenge will be to shatter six zombies. This means you have to first freeze them and then shoot or knife them after that. You can freeze zombies by killing them in water, but it's a lot easier to just use snowballs or the tundra gun. If you throw snowballs at their heads, you can freeze them on the first try. And finally, the last challenge will be to play a tune for Hermit on the bells at the docks. When you start this challenge, the Hermit will sing a random tune so you know what notes to play. If you have subtitles on, it's going to be a whole lot easier to tell what the notes actually are. From there, shoot the bells in the correct order. The bell at the back of the docks in the corner of the boathouse plays note C, then if you turn to your right, the bell by the zombie spawn plays note G, then the bell directly behind you outside of the map plays note E, and finally the one next to the power switch plays note A. If done correctly, you can claim this reward from the dummy, which will increase your snowball count from 6 to 10 for the rest of that game. Now with all 5 challenge dummies completed, you can collect a key from the hermit which will open this crate at the top of the lighthouse. Inside will be the thunder gun. Now keep in mind, you will only be able to hold one wonder weapon at a time, and once you take them from these crates, you will not be able to get them back unless you use the mystery box. Well that's pretty much it for this video, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.